Hey, what's up guys? John here. Joe Biden alongside 50 other mayors in America are working together to move forward a universal basic income from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North to the South and everywhere in between will be ushering in a universal basic income. Come up with an idea for a guaranteed annual wage. There's going to be so many middle class jobs displaced. That's the only thing that can be done. Now, this isn't you know, something that might happen, it's already happening. I'm gonna break down the locations, show you the locations, show you where it's happening, show you how it's gonna get funded, and show you what you should be doing to plan in advance because America as a whole is changing. It's already changed a lot. If you look at what's happened just in the last three years, think about it, with eviction moratoriums, forbearances, mortgage forbearances, student loans are still on pause. Even utility bills were optional. They wanted you to stay home and they wanted to send you money. Think about the four day work week. It's a push for change, structural change in America. And it's happening. It's happening right before our eyes. And it's up to us to see clearly so we can plan in advance. And that's what I'm gonna help you do in this video. Please hit that like button. When you hit the like button, YouTube's gonna share this content to educate more people about what's actually happening in America. So please hit that like button every time you hit it, YouTube will share it with one other person. Today's video also is sponsored by my company, greatcreditfast.com, that's greatcreditfast.com. If your credit needs help, we would love to give you a free strategy session to see how we can help you. Think about what happens in great, great pullbacks economically is funding tightens up. If you have bad credit, the odds of getting funding, being able to invest are gonna be a lot harder. So if you wanna invest in the greatest wealth transfer of all time, we'd love to help you get there at greatcreditfast.com. Now take a look at this. Now this is March 15, 2021. He puts a plan in, this Biden stimulus plan contains an experiment for universal basic income, right? Biden's opens backdoor universal basic income. This is June. September, Biden has helped the quiet revolution of giving people money, about 90% of Americans were eligible to receive payments. The Americans Families Plan, it's all pushing into this. But look at this. Mayors for Guaranteed Income is a coalition of 50 plus mayors who explore cash payment programs in their cities and advocate for guaranteed income programs. Guaranteed income programs. UBI trial begins, we say fight for socialism. Fight for socialism, right? What does this really, really mean? What does this mean? When you stay home and you get direct deposits, it might, it might feel good in the beginning. Like many people might be like, yeah, this is, this is awesome. But nothing remains that way. When you have to rely on someone else for food, for money, for payments, that person has a, a really big grip over your life and an immense level of power over yourself and your family. And as people start to get more comfortable and accustomed to this, I believe a lot more is going to be uh, handed over than just some, you know, some type of peace of mind. Like you're going to be handing over a lot of freedom, a lot of independence to that party that's issuing that universal basic income. Uh, but not everybody agrees. I mean, a lot of people disagree with me. Like Mark Zuckerberg, he disagrees. He thinks that universal basic income is going to be required and it's going to be needed. And I do think it's going to be likely needed, but. Um, it's, it's not just going to be a, a perfect fairy tale type of story that they're selling. Elon Musk, you know, you got Bill, you got Branson, all saying that it's going to be required in 2018, July, July 11th, 2018, they said that. Uh, but you start to think about automation. You start to think about what's actually going to happen. A lot of jobs are going to get displaced. More and more and more need and demand is going to be pushed forward for universal basic income. If they don't, crime is going to skyrocket in many, many cities. People are going to do what they need to do to survive, right? And so they're going to start to issue this. It's going to start to become required. But right now, the next two, three years, I believe, it's a great time to position yourself and your family and your business so that you can have options. Maybe you maybe you want to do universal basic income. That's great. But maybe you don't, right? And so you have the next couple of years to decide. Uh, I believe there's going to be a lot of wealth that's going to transfer hands. And if you're smart and you have the right strategy and you're ambitious, you'll be able to do whatever's the best for you, whatever's best for your family. You'll be able to do that, right? Um, Look at this. Universal basic income, nearly two grand a month in England. In Ireland, they're doing the same thing, where right? 2,000 artists are doing that. But these are these are some of the locations that are happening in America right now. $42 million guaranteed income program being used in, um, using innovative tech, right? Innovative tech. Uh, New York goes from, this universal basic income goes from pilot program to permanent, right? To permanent. Um, uh, Andrew Yang pushing for universal basic income in Denver. This just came out um, three, four days ago. Uh, five days ago, June 27th, pushing for universal basic income. Texas, uh, this also just came out not even a month ago. Um, this is for 
This group right here could receive universal basic income. San Antonio, uh, cash without condition. San Antonio experiment guaranteed basic income. Philly, this is going to be for pregnant women of color and their babies. This is this just came out yesterday, right? Just came out yesterday. Um, the city of Richmond, Virginia. They're saying 40% of, of American families can't afford a $400 emergency expense, right? And that needs to change. And they're going to be doing that and making that change with the universal basic income. Durham, North Carolina says a successful guaranteed income, you know, their, their income program. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton wants to allocate $1 million in the budget to extend a program the following successful completion of a pilot launch last year, right? Again, that, that's pretty new. Uh, Rochester. Rochester doing the same thing. Newark, the latest city to launch a universal basic income program. St. Paul, guaranteed income helps families of color. Uh, you, can, you, you can connect the dots here. Think about it. They always say that the big problem in America is inequality. Now, some people may say it is. Some people might say it's not. But it's all in line with what the headlines are. The headlines are inequality. The subject lines in the mainstream media uh, on the headlines of basically every uh, online media publications, inequality, inequality. The same thing with talking about UBI, inequality, inequality. You connect the dots, it's all leading here. Minneapolis rolls out guaranteed income pilot program. Um, Ann Arbor, again, 528 bucks a month, guaranteed income program. Uh, this is Baltimore. Baltimore is doing universal basic income program. New Orleans, universal basic income program. Chicago, latest city, universal basic income program for the poor. Atlanta, doing the same thing, universal basic income. I mean, this is in Florida. Florida is doing universal basic income as well. And so many people think that some areas are going to do it, some are not. No, it's going to be all states. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be doing this. Uh, Colorado, this came out about four months ago, or about six months ago, that they're going to be pushing forward on direct cash payments. In California as a whole, right now, there's 12,000 people that are getting cash from guaranteed income programs. And this is places like Oakland. Um, I mean, you have Long Beach. You have uh, LA is doing it. Uh, even, you know, Compton's doing it. $9.3 million already given to 800 households. Uh, Phoenix, 1,000 families are getting 1,000 bucks a month. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama is doing guaranteed income program. But now the big question is, you give away all this money, it sounds great, right? For many people, like, hey, I'll just sit home, I'll get a check. But where does the money actually come from, right? It's going to be coming from printing more money and increasing taxes. That's what's going to happen. And so when I'm looking at how is this going to be funded, you know, I saw this here. This is something we wouldn't have heard of five years ago or four years ago, carbon taxes. This is what is going to start to happen. There's going to be more and more and more and more taxes over the coming couple of years. Now, I'm not saying this to, you know, be like a, a downer or try to concern anyone, but I do think it would be wise to look into proper accounting, have a really good accountant and kind of plan ahead because I do think taxes uh, are going to be going up. So if you have the right plan, the right strategy, you're in the right business where you can, you know, find write-offs, legal write-offs, I think it would be wise to look into it. Uh, I do think it's going to be a really, really big thing. I do think they're going to print more and more and more money. And so as they print money and increase taxes, more people are going to demand universal basic income. And so this push for this headline that they, that they discussed right here, we say fight for socialism. Many people right now that say, no, I don't want that. I, I don't want to be a part of it, won't have a choice. And they'll say, you know what, I, this makes more sense. This is what I want to do. But we're going to start to see that uh, more and more and more this big, big push for this. And uh, we look at automation. Like automation is going to play a really, really big role in this. They said in 2020, employers thought 47% of tasks would be automated by 2025. That's a year and a half from now. Now they expect the number to reach 42% by 2027. I mean, that, that's still right around the corner. 2027, you're talking three and a half years. It's telling 42% of uh, expectations of the pace of future adoption have also been revised down, right? So they're saying 42% of these jobs that can be replaced will. I mean, that is, uh, that's unbelievable. Now, I personally think this is what percentage of jobs will be automated by 2025. 85% of jobs that can be automated will be automated by 2025. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big, big change in our world. Now, a lot of people aren't talking about this. Now, you go on TikTok, you go on Instagram, you go on these other platforms. Nobody's talking about it. Everyone's kind of talking like the world's completely fine. I'm not saying it's not fine. 
But I'm simply looking at it from a perspective of a father. I have two young children. I have a wife. I have responsibilities. I'm sure you do as well. And being forward thinking and looking a year or two years out, kind of planning for your family, planning for your own future, you should be taking into consideration that when they tell you that inflation is going to be transitory, how? How does that happen? We do, we're doing an energy transition, right, which is going to be inflationary. They're going to be printing more money for more and more and more of these programs. The world's going to get more expensive. So when they say, you know, everything's going to be fine, everything, I wouldn't bank on it. Uh, I would bank on doubling, tripling your income, uh, stacking some cash, getting an emergency fund, um, boosting your credit, building out a good tax plan with your business if you are self-employed, but just kind of planning in advance because the world's changing. It's changing really, really fast. And I think that 99% uh, of people, you know, it, this information is maybe a little bit too difficult to digest. But facts are facts. At the end of the day, we remove emotion from finance on this channel. We want to see things clearly to make smart, informed, educated decisions based on the truth. What's really happening in this economy? What do you think about it all? Drop below, hit the like button, add me on IG as well. And uh, if you help fix your credit, you know, we'd love to help you at greatcreditfast.com. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.